welcome back to, oh my gosh, boys. I gave them a frozen treat um, in a puzzle feeder to, you know, keep them occupied for 20, 30 minutes. I gave it to them before I was setting up my lighting and already they finished it. But today we are doing a show and tell video. I recently did a little trade with my brother and there is one item in there that is pretty interesting. It will be really interesting to all, mostly the girls out there, um, but anyone who's a fan of Rankin and Bass, um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So before we start the show and tell, I just wanted to show you this item that I got. Um, I'm sure a lot of you do this where you're purchasing something. They're like, oh, rare, rare. And you're like, oh, really? They're rare? Ooh, I, I don't think I've seen those before. So I got this Triceratops and I didn't realize that it was just that stupid motorized rubber Triceratops. It just didn't come with like a wire. There's supposed to be a wire that comes out of this thing and a remote. And when you press the remote, it just starts walking and like maybe make some sound or something. I could have got this with the wire, with the remote. And I could've got it for like a quarter of the cost, but I got it. So I was like, oh darn it. A few of the items that I got from my brother, um, the first one being this amazing Gwildor um, from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. I love how it comes with the cosmic key and it's such a great sculpt of Gwildor. So here's the original Gwildor right here. And you can see the resemblance is uncanny, um, but this one obviously is such a great sculpt. They did a really good job with his hair. They did a great job with his wrinkles and stuff, but this one's still great. I still need some other ones from that that movie line. Um, but I, they've just done such a great job of it. I'm really trying to collect it all. To me, that's always who He-Man is, is Dolph Lundgren. So I just had to get, you know, the Gwildor to go along with the rest of the figures. So I do really like these Simpsons scenes. I think they're pretty cool. I have gotten one from uh, a P.O. Box opening, which I absolutely love. It's like the Simpson uh, little living room set. And uh, my brother just had this. So he gave it to me as a freebie with the trade. Um, and so I got uh, Dr. Nick right here. Hi, everybody. So you can actually put these guys, you know, in the little pegs and it will recognize that, oh, this is Dr. Nick. And when you press this, it will actually, you know, talk like Dr. Nick. So I have Dr. Nick here. I have a Stonecutter Homer, which I absolutely love. I love the Stonecutters episode. And then I got one of the aliens. And of course I love Cletus so much. My favorite line that Cletus ever did was- Because making a happy home isn't like flipping on a light switch. The light switch. So whenever I say something to my sister and it's really, you know, kind of hard to understand or she just didn't understand at all, she's like, the light switch. It has like a nutritional food pyramid on the back there and everything is just so bad. It's not like what the recommendations are at all. Clamshell, Never Ending Story, original. Um, absolutely love it, Never Ending Story so much. And my brother knows that I really like World of Warcraft figures. So he threw in this guy who is a troll priest by the looks of it. And I'm just realizing that he is missing a tusk and he is broken right here and he's missing his weapon. Thank you, Mark, for the broken figure. But it will look fine from far away. I'll put him in the back. You can smell the mound pools. That is Slobulus. I think this is Arg and this is Dustbring. Say hello. Oh, you licked it. That's not good. I love you, but you gotta go. Or you can stay here. Actually, you can stay here if you want, Danto. You wanna stay? So I got these three Mad Balls. These are original Mad Balls from the 80s, and I've had my eye on these for a long time in my brother's collection. Uh, they are not in the greatest condition, but at the same time, Mad Balls are really hard to find. Um, in my neck of the woods, 1985. Mad Balls, 1985. So this is Arg, this blue guy that's all stitched together. This is Slobulus right here, a classic looking one. And this is Dust Brain. And I believe I believe Dust Brain was actually featured as a grenade in the Ready Player One uh, movie. So I got those, so I was really, really happy about that to finally get some uh, Mad Balls. I love SpongeBob so much, but also included in that Nickelodeon uh, category, I love Rugrats, especially Reptar. So my brother had this um, vintage, is it vintage? I actually don't even know if there's a year on it or not. Um, I haven't looked this up or anything, but I just really loved it. It is this Rugrats um, little mini pinball machine and it does have Reptar in there. So you go like, woo, and it, and it goes out and then you gotta you know use the little arms here. So the last few items are more so girl related, um, but I absolutely love these so much. Um, the first thing is, <gasps> Pony surprise! Oh, I love you so much! The reason when I go to thrift stores, the thing that keeps me going to look through the stuffies is to find a vintage Hasbro puppy surprise or pony surprise. They really brought back that surprise, uh, the puppy surprise kind of concept back because I do see it in the stores nowadays, but obviously I love the originals from Hasbro. I always wanted one when I was little. I wanted a pu puppy surprise. I wanted a pony surprise. So it's so cool to finally have one. They're also supposed to come with like a little collar or something. There's different colors. And then we open up 
her vagina. You get a little baby pony, and it's so cute. Look at this little baby pony, and it's like sleepy, and it's got its eyes closed, and it's so cute. So this next toy, you're gonna like it, cause I do. It is a vintage Sky Dancer from Galoob. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I am always on the lookout for these. I'm trying to collect the whole set, um, but it's very hard because these guys are hard actually to find, and for a good, honest price, let's put it that way. So this is actually the exact same one that I, not the exact one, but this is the model I had when I was younger. I had the dolphin model with the seahorse uh, pull string and my girl actually had a actually had purple hair with a string. So I guess there was different variations um, of girls that you could get. So funny enough, these guys were from the 90s. Uh, they also had an animated series that came out. And in 2000, they were actually recalled. They were kind of banned because there was something of over a hundred reported injuries or so. Um, people, uh, blindness or something, facial lacerations. Um, there was all these injuries poking people's eyes. It was insane how dangerous this toy seemed to be. But this actually was a beloved toy when I was growing up. My brother and I actually loved playing with the Sky Dancer. You'd pull it, you see how high it could go. You know, you don't know where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna show you exactly how high this thing can go. Okay, hopefully this works. These are actually like the Pony and Puppy Surprise. These guys are making a comeback again. And funny enough, um, as a boy, uh, uh, equivalent of these sky dancers, you can find vintage dragonflies with a Z, not an S. Who packed a secret power? The power to fly! Yeah, dragonflies really fly! Dragonflies, flight is flight! What you do is you actually put like their butt inside and then you pull it and they're like, woo! So this last item is pretty cool. It's probably an item that many of you didn't know existed. I know I didn't know because I was like, what? What the heck is that? So it is an official The Last Unicorn Unicorn Plush. There are just so many magical characters and creatures in there that are just dying to have their own figures, their own merchandise. And for some reason, they just, you know, back then they didn't do anything. All they have was, you know, the, the original book written by Peter uh, Beagle, I think it is. Um, and then later they did like a graphic novel for The Last Unicorn. There's of course, you know, the DVD, the original VHS. Think Geek came out with a exclusive Last Unicorn statue. For the life of me, I have been trying to find that statue. I've never seen it on eBay ever come up that I have seen. Uh, maybe I missed it, I don't know, but it's never on eBay. No one's ever selling it. And it's just, it's so hard to get your hands on. So it's just such a shame that there's no old merchandise. And even now there's still not much. Um, maybe it's kind of, you know, a cult classic. Maybe it's not super popular, but how is it not? The Last Unicorn is amazing. I love it. Um, and what I didn't know is that from the 80s is they had a Last Unicorn plush. The Last Unicorn has a very, very distinct look to her. She has like, you know, this slender face with really fat cheeks and long, nice neck and these skinny little legs and fat body. And she's just, she has such a cool look to her, you know? Um, and it's just, this doesn't really, this looks like a, this looks like a standard plush, okay? This just looks like a normal unicorn plush. The only thing last unicorn about this is the tag that says the last unicorn. That's about it. Um, and it says 1980, the last unicorn. Weird, because the movie came out in 1982. The Last Unicorn premiered in 640 theaters in the United States on November 19th, 1982. Made the toys like earlier and then sold them later or something? I don't know, I wasn't there. I'm not the last unicorn. But regardless, it's really cool to have an actual The Last Unicorn, Unicorn plush from this mythical line of Last Unicorn merchandise. And let me know in the comments down below if you are a fan of The Last Unicorn and if you knew that this even existed because I didn't. This definitely is gonna be the trade called Laura's Childhood Memories and Dreams. Dreams were achieved with this trade. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos almost every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary.